Hi everybody, it's Matt here, your local friendly neighbourhood vestibular migraine sufferer. Just a very, very short video for today. Um, just to say that um, I did an interview yesterday with Johan uh, for the vestibular talk, so watch out for that. It'll be coming out in the next couple of weeks. Um, it's a really enjoyable experience. Johan's doing a great job in terms of trying to uh, raise awareness of this really, really stupid illness that we all suffer from. So have a look out for that. It was it was a really, really um, great experience. Um, so. Just a quick one today, just really kind of touching upon some of the stuff I spoke to about with, with Johan about the illness and also kind of something that I did uh, this weekend to report back on. So when I was at my really, really poorliest, I have a friend called Elaine and she brought me this. Yep, this is a positive sign. So one of the things I think is really crucial with this illness is to actually look for the positive signs. So for example, you know, is that where you actually achieve one of the goals you set? So if you're unsure about goals, have a look at my other video where I talk about goals. Um, but I think the really, really key is to have a kind of a positive mindset and look for things that are indicators of positivity. So for example, it might be that you um, set yourself a goal and you can walk around the garden. Positive sign, note it down, maybe create a positive list. One for me, which was quite crucial on Friday, I was able to go to the cinema for the first time since I was struck down, struck down, I can't get the words out, struck down with VM. Um, and I thought, well, I'll take my FL41 lenses and see how I get on. So I got into the cinema, sat down, and I thought, hmm, okay, so the adverts are on the screen. I don't feel particularly overwhelmed by what I'm seeing, so perhaps I'll give it 10 minutes into the film and then put them on. And time and time moved on, I actually was able to actually watch the film with my naked eyes for the whole film and that was a really big milestone for me and I, I just could not have done that two to three months ago so yep that was a positive sign so I'm going to write that down I would just suggest that you guys do all the same same the same kind of thing you know log down your positives and look for your positives as well because in this with this illness it's very easy to get into a negative mindset and be feel down a lot and Think about the things you can't really do, but instead of actually focusing on the things you can do at the moment and the things that you will get to do in time. So there's say there's no way three months ago I would have been able to go to the cinema, but I did it. I'm still hampered by my breathing, but you know, that's another issue. I might do a separate video on on the breathing aspect. So yeah, so and if you're in that moment, those early moments now when you've just got the symptoms or you've just been diagnosed and you think you can't even get out of bed, because that's how bad it can get people. Just think that as time moves on, keep reminding yourself, you will be able to do some of the things that you love and over time that will build up and you'll be able to do more of them. So yeah, look, so my, my tip for today is to just look for the positive signs. This is a positive sign. You know, I did something today that I couldn't do yesterday or the day before. So I think that will really, really, really help, particularly with the, the mental battle that goes on with this illness and condition. So. Yeah, that's just a really short one today. I don't want to drone on. I've done quite a few videos lately, so probably people are getting a bit sick of the sight of me. So I um, don't want to drone on too long. So um, I hope wherever you are, um, you've, 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 you know, finding a way forward. And if you're really, really suffering, look at some of the other videos, look at some of the tips, look at some of Amy Shockett's videos, look at the vestibular talks, um, particularly the one with Marley, it's really interesting. And, um, you know, there is hope out there and, there, you know, there is a future for you, honestly, believe me. So, and as you were, you'll be again, as I always say. Right, bye for now. See you later.